There's been a lot of discussion online lately about whether or not it's worth putting a fan in the back of your absorption fridge in your RV to make the cooling more effective. People say it is, people say it isn't. And I thought just for the fun of it, we do a little experiment and put a fan in the road trek, run the tests and see if it made any difference. Now, the first time I did this, I ran it for four hours because people said, oh, it takes all day, all night to cool down. And what we discovered, as you're about to see, is that it does not, in this van, take all night, all day to cool down. So, here's the first go around and the first try at cooling it down. And here is our absorption fridge. The panel doesn't quite match, but getting the right wood and the right stain was a little more difficult than I anticipated. It's turned on now and will run for four hours. This is the original fridge for the 2003 machine. Nothing's ever been done to it except that panel replaced. And just when I was getting ready to do this video, I had to replace the 12 volt uh, heater element because it had actually rusted right apart. So that was an adventure. So, we get things started. And find out how much where we're at. Stay. Stay. Doesn't want to stay. Okay, do this two-handed. Minus nine. How does it get there? It doesn't seem so what happened there was that the fridge actually cooled down freezer part at least to about the industry standard minus 18 or 19 degrees celsius in four hours so to try the test a little more effectively i thought well let's do it again only this time we'll check the temperature every hour for four hours and if that makes any difference fan or no fan well we're about to find out Okay, well, we're gonna try this experiment with the fridge a second time. Here's the little thermometer, a stop gap thing. It's all in Celsius, as you can see. And it says it's somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius in there. Here's the digital guy, let's have a look. 25 degrees there. Go down and take a shot at the fins. There. 25, 23 down the bottom. Okay. Okay. It's been an hour. Probably a second for you. Let's see what the temperature is on the front. 28 degrees. That's not too bad. Nice in here. Beautiful warm day. Let's open her up and find out what's going on inside okay inside the freezer one degree that right it can't be right after one an hour one degree 1.8 1 or something on the fins one the bottom 23 still Okay, another hour's passed. So let's open up our little friend here and see how the temperatures are doing. Okay, first of all, freezer, minus one, minus 11. Yep, minus 11. Okay, fins, 15, floor, Feels cold. We'll check out the uh, freezer first. Minus 14. Okay. On the fins. Eight. And the floor. 
8. Okay, now back for hour four check on the old Dometic fridge. And again, you can feel the cold coming out. Let's have a look. Don't move for a second. Oh, that's not every time. Don't move for a second. Hold that. Let's see what the temperature is in here now. Minus 12. Yeah. Minus 16 and minus 12, if it depends where you hit it. Okay, that's pretty good. Fins. It's like that again. Okay. This is the fan installed inside the compartment, the back compartment of the fridge in the van. And of course, it's on a fuse. A nice fuse to make sure everything doesn't short out too fast. That's the gas. That's where the gas burner is. Up in there is where the 12 volt and 120 volt heater cores are. And then like this, there's a valve here so you can shut the gas off if you have to take the fridge out. Kind of a neat feature. So, let's go see we can turn this fan on and if it makes a difference. Let's just check the uh, temperature inside here. 30 degrees. That's a warm day. You saw this switch before. That turns on the fan. Yes, I know it goes through the, the hole in the back, the drip hole, and water and electricity don't mix. However, as long as you keep the water and the electricity apart, it's not a problem. So, still a half a bubble off center, which is normal for me. Let's close the door, close the door, and we'll flip it on to AC again, and come back in about an hour. Okay, fan's running, and you can hear the air conditioner running in the background for the house as well. This fan does pretty good. You know, it, it, it's about 90 decibels once you get a DB meter right up to it. I have a bigger fan, more powerful, and it was 110. Not something you really want at the campground at night to bother people. But this one's pulling air, and uh, we'll check it out later. Okay, a glowy stick designed for checking for drafts. And obviously there's a draft coming out of that upper vent now. With the fan going, it's back there. You can see it. It's been a little more than an hour since we turned it on. No, oh, yes, I forgot to uh, do more than one check. I only did the freezer and it was 34, so let's see what it is now. Minus 1.8. About where it was, I think. After one hour, oh, forgot the fins. Find out how we're doing now. Open up the freezer and find out what the temperature is. Minus 11. Okay. Find out what we are in the fan, or the fins, I should say. 19. Well, I can't. Wow, it's high. Well, as you can see, it's not getting much cooler either in the van or outside. So let's see how our little fridge friend is doing here in regards to cooling. And uh, minus 17.9, that's pretty close to minus 18. That's darn good. And the fins are, how are we doing down here? On a nine. And the floor, wait a second. Minus 12. Well, still pretty warm in here. 31 on the outside. 
Let's see how our little friend is doing on the inside. This should be the last go around. This is our number four. And let's just see. How'd you do, buddy? Minus 19. Let's find out the fins. Four point nine, and the floor. Ten. It's a bit warm. Okay. Well, that was kind of fun. What have we learned? We've learned that at the front end of things, with the fan running, the fridge does seem to cool down a little faster. What we also saw is that after four hours, fan or no fan, the fridge is at about the same temperature. It does draw it down quicker. So one way or the other, if you have a fan in your fridge or not, if your fridge is in good shape, it's going to get cold, cold to industry standards, and cold in about probably six hours or so. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.